Well, hey guys and gals, I'm back again. It's old Rocky Top Russ here, Lost Rail Beds. Today's video, we're going to feature some views of the Newburgh Duchess and Connecticut Railroad. Uh, that runs through Dutchess County from Plum, Plum Point on down at the Hudson River, uh, across from Newburgh, New York. And it runs all the way up through, kind of diagonally across Dutchess County and on up into Millerton, New York, and it crosses that state line, Connecticut. Uh, the Clove Branch Railroad was also governed by this Newburgh Duchess in Connecticut. That was a little short line <clears throat> that was designed and conceived and built by George Brown, the president, uh, 1868 through 1869, and it lasted until 1898, approximately 30 years. Uh, it was primarily built to extend from the Newburgh Duchess in Connecticut Railroad at Route 82 and Clove Branch Road current modern day uh, location uh, into Sylvan Lake to extract iron ore and it also carried milk lumber mixed freight passengers uh, but very very limited on a small basis maybe one or two car loads a week and the rails went from uh, this clove branch road and route 82 current modern day area um, on down cross um, clove branch road it turned east and followed Beekman Road um, out through and uh, across the Beekman Golf Course, crossed the Taconic State Parkway into Sylvan Lake. From there it went out and it crossed Beekman Road into Beekman uh, near County Route 7 modern day, which is, uh, you'll see in this video, the, uh, the mill house that I feature. Uh, crosses Recreation Road, follows down, crosses Route 55 near the Beekman Road intersection and it goes on up into the uh the old clo valley beekman furnace which i also feature a little snippet on this video from there the bed was graded and prepared to have rails laid on it but the rails were never laid on up into clo valley and it ends the road bed ends modern day at uh west clo mountain road at cutler lane um it was very very interesting uh little short line it was conceived for one purpose and mainly one purpose only and it had a short lifespan of 30 years now i'd like to uh welcome the desoto to the video i'd also like to give credit to bernie rudberg 25 years on the newburgh duchess in connecticut and hopewell junction a railroader's town two wonderful wonderful books and resources that you should get your hands on and pry them out of my hands Thanks guys, enjoy the video. Thanks. Okay, here we are on uh, Dorn Road down in Beekman, Clo Valley area. And uh, this is rail related. This is the site of the old Beekman furnace that um, stood, actually still stands. Uh, I'll show you in a second here. Just wanted to get you, this sign's been here a while. It's all beat up. What do you see the other side? Well, this side's not much better. Anyway. Yep, there it is. Hope you can see it. They got a big old fence around it. Can't go in there. It's all owned by private people now. But this is the old blast furnace here. Um, built in 1873 by the Clove Spring Iron Works. And there was rumblings throughout the years that uh, the, the owners were going to tear it down. And the town got involved, thank goodness, and the historical societies as they normally do, but it should have those saplings and junk cleared out from around it. It's a gorgeous piece. Um, yeah, this is up top where the rails for the Clove Branch Railroad came to. Um, they did reach this point. They did take iron ore out of here and they used this, this furnace for uh, blasting uh, numerous things iron ore they also made charcoal um, primarily iron ore and we'll get you some more maybe photos from up top if I can but I doubt it because there's a grouchy old man that lives up there anyway Beekman furnace right here continuing on south uh, in on our travels today we are standing on the rail bed yes of the clove branch uh, that intersection down there is Recreation Road and Beekman slash Poquag Road, County Route 7. And the rail bed does cross right here, crosses right here at the site of 
the old mill house, which you can read about right there. And the actual bed. For those of you doing the walking tour, there's a little kiosk here set up by the youth group. Um, the rail bed did cross right here. And we do have evidence of that that we can see when we trek down here without falling. That is the old abutment. Let me see if I can get down here further. Yeah, that's the old abutment right there for the Clove Branch Railroad. Uh, right at that little fence right next to the modern day makeshift um, replica wheel. This is the dam that was created for the mill house. And if you can see my finger, the rail bed crossed right here, right here. And it went on down that way. That's the bed. And that was the clove branch that went down and crossed Beekman Road down by Sylvan Lake. And then the line actually went into Sylvan Lake. So, this is the clove branch right here. Uh, while I'm here, I'll give my little spiel. Uh, this is known as Dalton Farms now. It was, however, uh, Clove Creek Farm owned by Franklin Delano Roosevelt Jr. along Beekman Pokeweg Road here. Um, there are about a zillion homes that were built up there that are resided in by modern day folk. Here's the mill house. I kind of felt this out a little bit just to see if anybody was going to come out and uh, you know have me arrested by Officer Obi. Well that has not happened and subsequently there is a stone in the ground. You can see my foot. It is one, two, three, four, a little over four feet. And here we have the mill house. And I hope you can read that. Yes, again, this is a replica piece of plywood, but it gives the modern day traveler an idea yeah, this was the mill this is where the wheel actually sat right here and this was the mill house where they ground down the flour yeah it's cool okay we'll venture a little further down here without getting arrested uh, we're going down to creekside level of the mill house there is not a human being around modern day bridge that was built over the creek there but those are original stone abutments of what is called Mill Lane here in Poqueg, New York. Poqueg, funny little name and uh, yeah there it is. There's a sluice over there that they would allow water to come down through by regulating it based on production needs right there all stone built and normally the water would go through there and right through the through the wheel and they could dam up or dam down according to production needs all right awesome i suggest a little visit here not a human being around nobody to bother you except him just a quick little side note to this beekman poke egg recreation area if you do turn in off of um, Beekman Road near Route 55 and you drive down Recreation Road you are actually driving on the railroad bed just thought I'd throw that out there for you modern day stuff ShopRite Route 82 Arthursburg LaGrange New York here uh, we're on the old rail bed the old rail bed actually uh, every time people pull in here to buy their milk and eggs they cross it they don't even know it they drive right over it here it is right here <clears throat> we are now walking south from the shop right 
on the bed of the Newburgh Duchess in Connecticut. These are old railroad stones that are still scattered. They were part of an old abutment here. Uh, we are approaching Arthursburg Road at Kimberly Corners over there. That's the original A&P. The shop right behind me that I just posted uh, was where A&P moved. This is Route 82 and Arthursburg Road here in LaGrange. I guess this is still LaGrange. This is not East Fishkill, is it? This is Arthursburg Road. This, of course, is your buddy Sam. We are on the bed. And I'm going to show you something that has been very well documented and very well photographed over the years. And I am so happy that it's still here. Long time back. They made... <laughs> They made an old railing out of railroad rail. It's been well photographed. It's in so many books. It's in Bernie Rudberg's book. It's in so many of them. This is the bed. It's an old concrete box culvert right there that the bed drove across, rode across. And here is original stone work, sluiceway, still remaining right here at Arthursburg. How cool is this? Original railroad stonework. There's a chunk of concrete that has been ripped up and deposited there. But here it is, guys and gals. <laughs> the very well documented. I'm going to touch it. Boom, 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 boom. There it is. I hope it lasts forever. I don't know when it was put in. It's narrow, narrow, uh, low rail. Boy, I sure would like to see if there's a date on it. I don't mean to dwell on this, but it is kind of a rather infamous little structure amongst, with the little down sweeps on both sides, amongst um, railroaders and history buffs that have read all of the railroad books on the Newburgh and Duchess in Connecticut. And here it is. Yeah, awesome. So here's the bed. Um, continuing uh, south from Arthursburg. It's all overgrown, but we know it's here. And it goes on down, crosses with the current modern day Taconic State Parkway. Um, parkway actually goes over it. There are still some, uh, some box culvert remnants from down there, from down... Uh, at the modern day development gas station that I will show you. Um, this creek here does look like it's been very recently channeled out and um, cleaned up for proper storm drainage. All right, enough on this little spot. I'm so glad it's still here. This is 2022 and our very, very likable, famous piece of Railroad artwork is still here in Arthursburg, New York. Thought I'd take you on one more last little Russ adventure while we're still here. We're going to cross this. Oh my, raccoon poop. Yeah. Where are, what other kind of video are you going to get raccoon poop in? I stood this stone up nice. There it is. I wonder why it's like that. It's a little sluice way from this stream that runs down from Arthursburg Road. It runs on um, south. And crosses under the, the rail bed. And crosses under Route 82 into the parking lot of that supermarket across the road. Oh well, Arthursburg, say goodbye guys. Bye guys. Okay, so I had a thought here. We're still in Arthursburg and I'm looking at that building. It's um, some doctor of dental surgery, DDS. I can't quite read it from here. Uh, there has been speculation. I spoke to this old railroad buff uh, years ago. He has since left us it left this world so I don't know true or not but I was told by him that that is the very heavily renovated former Arthursburg station 
I didn't quite believe him then and I don't quite believe him now but at any rate it's it's there it's closer to route 82 than it is to the bed itself with the stream behind it so that's why I tend to doubt it I do believe where we are sitting right here in Sam is where the original station was try to get that verified we're down here in LaGrange old general store LaGrangeville um, at some point it changed its name from LaGrange to LaGrangeville the big town proper is LaGrange and the hamlet is LaGrangeville um, LaGrange station here on the Newburgh Duchess in Connecticut private home I do see a car I may uh, may ask permission to shoot a little bit around it that's the rail bed and it's called the depot this was a hardware store boy you could get just about anything you wanted in here years ago it was open until oh into the 70s um yeah get a little walk around here on the bed in the grange <clears throat> is Noxon Road N-O-X-O-N -O -O nothing uh, out of the ordinary here let me walk a little further I'll get to the crossing and I'll get back with you okay here we are we're on the bed uh, looking south towards well that's the LaGrange station right there I guess next down would be Arthursburg and then uh, Creamery Road where the Creamery was this is the bed right here it's still very very well pronounced um, there's a modern-day house that sits on it here but it does of course there were double tracks here one on each side of the station it does run down that particular row of evergreens and um, stockade fence and from there it goes on up into Billings and points north let's see if we can get permission here's another hump here where the other front side tracks would have been yeah well circumstances being what they are i uh did secure through the door permission to uh shoot the lagrange station and i'm not sure if you can see but way up on top there's a beautiful beautiful old uh looks like brass and copper um locomotive weather vane here she is folks we are in lagrange with very much appreciated permission to shoot the original LaGrange, New York, Newburgh Duchess in Connecticut Railroad Station. And I promised her I'd do a quick walk around. Uh, she wasn't feeling too well, but she did say it was okay. And for that, we are very grateful. This is the east side. This is the north side. It's just great that it's still here. That is looking south towards Arthursburg and here we are looking north towards billings thank you current owner did not get your name but much appreciated thank you i know it's a little tough to see but if you're at billings wrote 82 and wrote 55 in billings in the grange go a little south on 82 turn right on alley road and right here is the newburgh duchess in connecticut where it crossed Alley Road. Whoops, excuse us, Sam. And it uh, goes on down this way, down south into LaGrange, where the station still exists. Why don't we go down there? But this is a great view here of where the rail bed was. Alley Road, LaGrange. Okay, so we came a little further north of LaGrange and Billings. And we are on Barmore Road. Barmore Road off of Route 82 north of Billings. And we are on the bed at this quaint little pond here. Beautiful. And it's posted so we can't go much further than that. But we do have evidence over here. And let's jump over here where I can get down. 
of the culvert built by the railroad right here it's a steel pipe iron pipe rather beautiful beautiful work it's an iron pipe you can see the rust in the water and I would say it's um, 80% silted over and Sam is actually sitting near the bed we're on the bed now crosses Barmore Road and if you can see what I'm seeing it goes down and it's still wonderfully 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 cleared um, posted posted I will go to right about stop right there and that's the bed Barmore Road Newburgh Duchess in Connecticut let's go north Big tree. Great. GRAT on the road. Sunset Hill. Moore's Mills. This is the site of the old mill at Moore's Mills. Look at that. How would you like a river underneath your bedroom? Moore's Mills is the next town up from Billings. Moore's Mills was a very famous hamlet as the mill was here. Right now, it's a, pretty much an intersection. Mill General Store. And this Wells Road just goes up and connects with Route 82 again. There is Sam faithfully waiting for us to get back to him. I would be remiss if I did not photograph this for you, Oswego, as you are well reading. Society of Friends, 18th century center for a wide neighborhood. Hmm, sounds like my house. Route 82, Oswego, Sunset Hill, and a cool little bridge here. Hi, how are you? Little footbridge where the creek actually goes underneath Route 82. Right there. Oswego. Friends, community, spirit. Private. Sam. In the turning around process, uh, taking my life into my own hands, uh, I've turned around right here, and this old residence here at the corner of us, we go and Route 82 in Moore's Mills, was to the best of my knowledge, my memory, which is fading fast, this was something to do with a uh, rooming house, boarding house for um, quite possibly Vassar students used to come out here during the summers and party. I mean, you know, hang out socially. Yeah, it's right on the corner here. Well, go on your Google machines and look that one up, guys. I have to put you down because I'm turning onto a very treacherous road. Alrighty, we made it. This is where we are. And we came north on 82 from Moore's Mills. We turned dangerously to the left, which is a more of a fork than a turn. And of course, we did cross the bed and the bed was running between us heading north on the right of us. And here it is where it used to cross from there to there. And I imagine there was, oh, some sort of a box culvert here, or perhaps in the earlier days, a trestle. Uh, and you can see up there on Route 82 that there is a uh, underpass underneath Route 82. This is probably some pretty treacherous water comes through here at times. Let's see if I can. Oh yeah, I can do it. Want me to do it? Let's go. I'm probably 12 feet below. 12 feet below the bed now, and I'm walking up. Uh, a pretty pretty massive ditch look at this wow there's a like nice locust log I could make a nice uh, 
I could make a nice eight by eight out of that on my sawmill. Yep, there goes Route 82 up there. And we're just west of Route 82 in a ditch. Oh, it's full of water. Now my boots are soaked. Darn. Here you go, kids. A big old rock cut. Right here, I'll try to get the scope of it. Folks that live here park their trucks and trailers in there. and That's a headboard for an old tractor trailer and some ramps. But yeah, this is the original Newburgh Duchess in Connecticut. Rock cut right at the super duper high tension wires that cross here. A few years back, there was a plane crash down there in the gully. And young gal was piloting the plane, 16, 17 years old. She crashed. She got out, she brushed herself off, she walked out, and they got the wreckage out a while back uh, as they had to wait for certain clearances. Okay, rock cut, just south of Burbank, Newburgh, Duchess in Connecticut. All right, guys, we came a little further north from the Moores Mills general vicinity. Oh, you suppose these funny looking critters are? Well, they are stanchions, concrete stanchions for a tank that would have sat here. We are in Verbank Village. Now the little wooden uh, pieces on top are some sort of modern day add-on. Uh, bird houses, bird feeders, I don't quite know. But this is right in off of Route 82 here, right in Verbank Village, right on the stream, right to that right here and that's the crick looky buster a crick while we're here in Burbank I thought I'd give you the 25 cent tour this is the old village in Dante's village in here in village of uh, Burbank village uh, we used to play music and get drunk there and it's starting to rain all of a sudden. These are some of the homes that are still here in the village of Burbank Village. Um, the rail line is up there. Maybe you can see it, maybe you can't. It's getting dark. It is after four o'clock here in the Northeast in these great United States of ours. And it is almost dark. So rather than get you any dizzier, Say goodbye. Okay, here a bit of an update. Uh, we're in Burbank, New York, on the Newburgh Duchess in Connecticut. And just an update uh, from a previous video that we did on the old freight house here. As you can see, she's still standing. Uh, the video we did was um, kind of a slight knee jerk. We had heard that uh, the owner was going to be. Uh, coming up and taking it down um, he has not there were some meetings between him and the uh, local town government and I do not know the actual results of those meetings but um, I do know that uh, it's still here and we can verify that with this quick little update walk around on the old freight house Burbank, New York. Here it is. Glad to see she's still up. Talk to you later. Since I was in Burbank filming the update on the freight house, I thought I'd take you here. Uh, we are on the Newburgh Duchess Connecticut. That's Route 82 right there. That's the Burbank Unionvale Firehouse. That is their 9 11 monument right there. Um, and we are on the green. Look at that bright green grass today December 3rd um, and yeah this is the uh, this is the stone abutments that is on still remaining I'm gonna take a chance that I don't get shot here and just walk in on this little bit of grass here and shoot this so I can get these stones this is stone columns stone abutments that are still left right here 
stone abutment right here on this little stream where the line crossed right over to there continued on down into Burbank Village and Moore's Mills, Billings, LaGrange, Arthursburg and Point South. Yep, quick one. Hey look we're back in Burbank. Give you one last little glue, glimpse, clue, glimpse. Uh, it's their 9-11 memorial, Unionvale Fire District. And I thought I'd give you one more little glimpse from the other side where we can actually go down here on the lawn and touch them. So I was standing up there before and now I'm standing here and that's not quite the same water that we saw before but you get the gist. Here it is Newburgh Duchess in Connecticut, Burbank, New York. I just love the cuts on these stones. They are beautiful. And I know you do too. So the bed goes on down. Somebody actually mows this. The bed goes on down, crosses Route 82 here. <sighs> goes down a private driveway to the left of the firehouse. Oh, right there. You just about see it. And yeah. <sighs> I'll try to get you a shot when in daylight because it's getting really dark right now here in Burbank. Well, I did stop here for a quick uh, liquid refreshment. I walked in and said, hey, I'll take a couple Genesee cream ales. And the girl just looked at me and laughed and said, what are those? And the guy said, what are you living in the 1970s? And I said, well, yeah, why not? <laughs> <laughs>